Welcome to Oka Agriculture Bali. So yeah. I will explain to you about the plantation here. So in here we grow coffee. So yeah, this is the coffee tree you can see here. This one, uh, this one is Arabica coffee. In this place we have two types of coffee. We have Arabica and Robusta. This one the Robusta. This is the ready to harvest. Yeah, this one. But we have also coffee come from animal. You heard about that? Coffee luwak. Yeah. We have uh, an animal. That animal we call it luwak. So that animal eat the coffee, but they only choose only the red one, only the ripe one. Because the ripe coffee bean, the taste is very uh, tasty, like a sweet taste. So that animal only choose the red coffee beans. When the green one, they doesn't want to eat. They eat the coffee. They just eat the skin of the coffee, but they swallow the beans because the coffee bean is too hard so that animal cannot digest. They still throw out the beans of the coffee. So that coffee is healthy, healthier than the normal coffee because it has been fermented in stomach of the animal, like uh, uh, have like a acid in stomach of the animal. So that's why the coffee luwak is less caffeine. Not like this coffee, when the normal coffee, they have like a high caffeine, higher than the luwak coffee. The luwak coffee is less. Uh, we have brown and a little bit uh, gray. When the brown color, that one is uh, female, the gray one is male. Yeah. So in one cage, we just put two animals, male and female. Yeah. When it's just male, they will fighting. When male and female, they can live together. <laughs> Sometimes make a baby also. <laughs> yeah. Ah. But a bit lazy. <laughs> When the Lua coffee, this is the normal coffee, we just harvest from the tree, we dry, and we get this coffee. When the Lua coffee, we have to wash three times. Wash three, three times, time, yeah. With hot water, yes. cold water, cold water, and we dry. Okay. Yeah. After the drying, so the peeling. peeling. Peeling and then roasting. Then roasting. Yeah. Yes. Bit uh, difficult, like a bit harder to make it than the normal coffee. This is how it looks like the poop of the animal before we wash it. This is the, the first, the first the yeah. collection period. Yeah, but this is dry already. Yes. The first collecting is wet. Okay. Wet, yeah. Okay. Wet and smelly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But this one is dry, so that's why the copy bean is broke. So the first one is like this. Like uh, like this together like this. Okay. When the first one. Okay. Yeah. But now it's dry already, so that's why it's broken so we dry first and then we washing yeah i so yes, i said yeah three times, three times like until like this hot, cold, cold. yeah like this but this one is not peel it yet yes okay. so we have like a machine to peel it when one by one is it's very yeah okay. <laughs> so we peel it until like this one so okay. you see and this one ready to roast it After roasting, we grind it in here, and then we have to grind it like this, yeah. So like this, until we get the powder of the coffee, yeah. Like this, we have to, and then we take this one, yeah. we put it like this, and we shake it. We shake like this, shake it, until we get uh, the powder of the coffee. Okay. When this one is ready to drink, 
So that is how we make the coffee in traditional way. Okay. So now you can test some coffee. Take a break now. <laughs> okay. So this is how we preparing the coffee luwak. Yeah. So we this we use this machine for filter. So we have to wait until the water boil it and then the water will be come up. After that we stirring well and then we remove the fire, the copy will be back down again. Yeah. So there is a filter in here. So later the copy will be filtering directly. Yeah. It's got coffee. It's worth coming here. Absolutely, it's so beautiful. It's worth its price. Uh, well, I didn't check the price yet. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's five dollar for cup. Here, outside, it's worth fifty dollar for the cup. Uh, okay, yeah, then I guess it's worth it's at least trying. This is the one from the Luwak, yes, from the animal. Yeah, it's. Very different and uh, special coffee. The coffee is very, uh, very rich, delicious. Uh, you like I, it? I like it very much. Yeah. Yeah. Some. Yes. It's worth coming here. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to say yes. Yeah, it's worth. <laughs> yeah, it's worth. Coffee luck. In the end, the problem is hard. The result that I got was that the problem is hard. It's not easy. حسيت شوي بمعاناة الحيوان على مر الزمن كيف كانوا يجبروا ويضطروا إلى يخرجوا منه المواد هاي بطرق معينة من استفراغ وغيرها واضطروا في النهاية يعملوا له محميات وحيوانات عشان يجمعوا منه القهوة بشكل لا يضر بالحيوان في النهاية الحيوان الواحد لا ينتج في اليوم إلا خمس جرام ومجموع إنتاج أندونيسيا كاملة من هاي القهوة لا يتجاوز ال 500 كيلو فهو رقم جدا بسيط وحاولت دول أخرى تقلد مثل الصين والفيتنام لترفع مستوى الإنتاج هذا بس هي شيء مميز شيء غريب طعمها في بعض من التميز مش إشي مختلف تماما عن القهوة بس هل الطعم الغريب هاد يساوي السعر الباهظ هاد؟ هل الطعم هاد يساوي الكيلو ب 600 دولار والفنجان ب 50 دولار او يزيد؟ بس يبقى السؤال مطروح، عادي في ساعات غريبة وتساوي الملايين، وسيارات غريبة وتساوي الملايين، هل الذوق هو السبب؟ أم هل إعجاب الإنسان بالغريب هو السبب؟ كوبي لواك is the world's most expensive coffee. Though for some it falls under the category of too good to be true. In the Sumatran village where the beans are grown lives a breed of wild tree cat. These cats eat the beans, digest them, and then defecate. The villagers then collect and process the stools. It is the combination of the beans and the gastric juices of the tree cat that give Kopi Luwak its unique flavor and aroma. You're shitting me. Cats beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 